Welcome, welcome, welcome. Welcome back to, well, I shouldn't even say welcome back. I'm not going to say welcome back. Welcome. Welcome to the first edition, first installment of, uh, I don't even know, I have a name for it yet. But uh, we're going to say first installment of the Project Podcast or uh, Projects and Podcasts or One Man Podcast or I don't know. Uh, basically, it's just a reason, an uh, excuse to shoot a little one man show and talk about uh, my Niners and my Lakers will be the topic for this week. A um, lot going on in, uh, in the Lakers uh, season so far. Uh, the the zero and four Lakers start, um, and my Niners were uh, were looking decent at the start of the season. We was three and two, I think, to start the season, and now we got a little two game slide, uh, three and four, but. That don't mean the season's lost. Uh, little three and four star. We back of the pack of the NFC West. I think we're third in the NFC West right now. But, uh, you know, with the season being so young, that's only a game or two out. So we could uh, put a couple of runs together. Even a, even a two-game win streak will get us right back there in the NFC West. Uh, probably first place. Because ain't nobody... Ain't nobody standing out like they did last year. The Rams, uh, the Rams look good still. They they look okay, but they don't look like they did a year ago. And uh, we got Seattle, and we got uh, Arizona, the Cardinals. So nobody's lighting the league on fire. Not not in the NFC West, anyways. It's not like it's Buffalo or uh, even Kansas City isn't having the season they had a, a year or two ago. So, um, this is just really an excuse to talk about the project that I ended up picking for this week, which is this little bucket. I had some, uh, I saw somebody sewing a bucket online and this is my first time I've ever made one. Um, so if you see any imperfections, let me know, but, uh, it came out pretty decent. Um, but it was a reversible bucket and, uh, if you've watched my channel before, if you've seen anything I made, I make a lot of sports related items, mostly duffel bags or sling bags or uh, some head scarves, things like that. Um, mostly they're sports related. Um, and I'm a Niner and I'm a Laker. Uh, I'll always be a Niner or a Laker, regardless of what my squads do. Um, but I wanted to make something that was in honor of. Um, in honor of October, which is uh, Breast Cancer Awareness Month. So you see the pink. I have made another. Let me show you this. I also made this, this little sling bag. Nothing crazy. Uh, little sling bag here. Little pocket in the front right there. Rock it like this. So I made the, the sling bag first um, and wanted to make something to go with it. So I made this little little bucket to go with it. Uh, I'll rock both of these for the rest of the month at least. Um, but that's that's my little pink for, for the month. Um, but this is really about, like I said, first, uh, First podcast, uh, we don't call it a podcast. We don't. Uh, if y'all got a better name for it, it's just a fireside chat, little talk um, to go over what our squad is doing. Uh, Russell Westbrook has been the scapegoat um, for all things wrong with the Lakers. And I won't put it on him, not all on him anyways. He definitely is a problem. When you go 0 for, 0 for, 0 for 11, I think it was, you can't spend that many minutes on the floor and not score a bucket. I think he scored two points the whole game. If, I, if I'm not mistaken, I could be, I could be wrong about the specifics. That was a game ago. Um, this past game was uh, he he didn't play this past game, 
let y'all know what day it is. It's October 27th, 2022. So if y'all need a little reference, that's that's when we are. Right now, the Lakers are 0-4 on October 27th, 2022. That's the Lakers with LeBron James, Anthony Davis, uh, Russell Westbrook, and, you know, a couple other players sprinkled in there. I like Reeves. Uh, Reeves has shown a lot. It's not like he's going to be a standout, but um, he's shown that he can be dependable. He'll play hard. Um, Nunn, he's another player who, I mean, he's hot and cold, um, but, you know, he can give you some good minutes. Um, and a lot of our role players, we don't really have a lot of names on our squad anymore. We don't have, we have some guys that you you don't know, uh, guys that you haven't seen before. Uh, we also have Patrick Beverly. I'm not a fan of Patrick Beverly or Russell Westbrook. I wasn't before they came. I'm not that, that they're here now. Um, Beverly, remind, I don't like Chris Paul either. So uh, they remind me of each other. Chris Paul clearly has more talent, but like they're irritants. They're always in a play. He's scrappy. So you got to give him that. Scrappy is important, especially when you get to playoff time. But then if you can't make it to the playoffs, or which the Lakers have not made it to the playoffs in the last couple of years. You know, we had made it to the playoffs with Braun and made it and made it. And then I want to say it was last year we didn't go. Um, yeah, I think it was 2021 because we won in, we won in the bubble. So, um, so to, to, the, to win the chip and then to not go to the playoffs, that's like, a, you know, that's that's a big that's a big distance to cover, you know what I mean? So now we got AD. Um if you're a Laker fan, you probably saw that AD slip uh and fall the other day when he jumped and he got upended. I think he, it was on a play with um I think it was on a play with um man. Uh it was a play it was a play against the Clippers. The Lakers were playing the Clippers, I wanna say. And Kawhi, Kawhi uh, pump fake, double pump, and Anthony Anthony Davis went up for a block. And, um, you know, Kawhi hadn't gone up yet. It was a clean play, but uh, he got upended and landed on his back. And if you know anything about AD, he's been accident prone for a while. That's That's been the complaint about AD. He can't stay healthy. So, um it's it's hard for any player to stay healthy. I mean, not everybody is LeBron James, where they just, even when they're hurt, they play through it, or they've never really been injured, hurt, hurt in their career. So um, Anthony Davis has had a hard road in that sense. But, you know, everybody has a, when Anthony Davis goes down, because he might not, you don't know, he might not get back up. So if he... Not not get back up in that way, but, you know, he might be out for a couple of games. And with our record being what it is and our squad looking the way it does, we clearly need him. Uh, we need him to be Anthony Davis. I mean, I won't say that he's a top five player in the league. It's a couple of guys who have come out uh, on fire. Um, you know, if you talk about clearly Giannis is otherworldly. I'm 34 and 12 with I think five as 34 and 12 with five assists and two or three blocks. I mean, what can you do with that? Uh, Dame time been doing his thing. Um, I won't, I won't skip over Steph. I mean, just there's a couple of LeBron is LeBron. We, we won't talk about him. He's, we won't talk about him, but um, yeah, it's just, it's so many guys in the league that at, at one point, Anthony Davis was clearly top five and we still want to leave him in the top 10, but with guys performing the way that they are, um, it's hard to put him there, but he, with Anthony Davis and LeBron on the same squad, the squad shouldn't look like it does. Now I'm not exactly a, a, a Russell fan. I wasn't before, like I said, wasn't before he came. I'm not now. He was never the piece to fit. He's clearly a talent. I mean, you can't have that triple doubles. People don't give that stat credit like 
people should. Uh, triple double, triple double, triple double. But it's hard to go out and get a triple double. It doesn't matter how many shots you miss. You have to put players in the right position to score enough times for you to get at least 10 assists. You have to put the bucket ball in a bucket for at least 10 points, right? And then be a person who can rebound or steals or blocks. But, I mean, that, that ain't been done since, you know, like the Shaqs of the world. Giannis can do stuff like that. Um, you know, you'd have to be Luka or the Joker to accomplish those kinds of things with those types of numbers. So Russ was doing his thing. He just wasn't a good fit. He's not a good fit as a team piece. And I, I really don't think for any team, it's not that he shouldn't play in the league, but as far as being a team fit, team piece, it's hard to think of a squad that he could go to where you, it's a plug and play, where he would just fit in. Um, so the Lakers, he really doesn't fit in. And we don't have enough talent to just plug him in when we need him. We, we, we don't have enough talent around LeBron. We don't have the shooting that's necessary. We don't have, we, we clearly don't defend like we should. Uh, but shooting is important. I mean, anybody who knows basketball or has seen Bron's career, anytime that he wins, him specifically, uh, he generally, generally has shooting around him. Um, cause He's the most important piece on the team. But we all know that LeBron's a facilitator. Not necessarily pass first. Not pass first. But he, he's a facilitator. So he does what comes natural. And he gets his team involved in a way that's most natural. Uh, and so sometimes that's him scoring the ball. And he just lets the game come to him. Uh, other players should... should uh, Take heed to that, you know, let just let the game come to you. Uh, he doesn't try to do more than he should. Most of the time, he doesn't try to take over a game until late uh, because it allows the game to flow a little bit better. Um, you know, Kobe used to do that sometimes, but Kobe, you know, he, if Kobe could score every time down, down the court, he would. Another player that's been playing pretty good for the Lakers, I mean, He's not shooting as well as he normally would, I think, from three. But uh, he's giving us quality minutes. He's playing decent. Is a uh, Lonnie Walker. Lonnie Walker the fourth. Uh, he's been serviceable. He just we don't have all the pieces we need yet. Uh, I like Toscano Anderson. He's I like him. He he hasn't done all of what he can do yet, but. Uh, I think he'll be a decent piece for us. Uh, he's, he plays hard. He's scrappy, too. He, he seems to play the right way. Uh, we have a couple of other players, a couple of other pieces that pr honestly probably won't be there uh, all season uh, or won't play. Uh, but we just have to put a respectable season together. So I'll be back to give a couple more updates in the near future about uh, on our next episode of, I don't know, y'all give me a name, help me with the name. Uh, like I said, project podcast, whatever. Now let's go to the Niners really, which is the reason I, I made this bucket in the first place. So I could, like I said, have an excuse to, to uh, rock this pink and make this bucket hat. Um, the Niners, uh, this week, actually this past week we acquired, uh, Christian McCaffrey. Now, McCaffrey, like AD, can't stay healthy all the time. He's a talent. He's an amazing talent. Uh, but if he, you know, what they say, everybody says it every week, all the time. The best ability is availability, right? So if he's not available, then, you know, it'll be for not. But if he if he can put them cleats on, uh, he's respectable. Like, he's he's... A real talent. Uh, you know, the Niners, we lost our quarterback early. Uh, I don't know how he would have done the season. He has, he had, he being Trey Lance, he would have had a lot to learn, but uh, 
He reminded me a lot of Cap in the way that he was built. I'm a Cap fan. So let's just let's get that out of the way. The Niners have a history of having a decent quarterback and then having another quarterback come in for that decent quarterback and then play. So, you know, back in the day, we had, you know, the big dog, Steve Young. And he he's my big dog, right? He he's he's my quarterback because Jerry Rice, greatest of all time. Nope. Nothing to talk about. Don't 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 email me, don't text me, don't whatever. Greatest of all time, period. Uh, Jerry Rice, you know, he had two quarterbacks. But when I I'm I'm 40 now. So when I was coming up, our quarterback was really Steve Young. Like when I'm when I'm really watching football, Steve Young is our QB. Uh, and before that, it was Montana, but Montana was kind of before my time. Clearly an amazing, amazing quarterback, you know, an all-time quarterback, uh, Hall of Fame, you know, can't give him enough accolades for all the things he did. But when Steve Young got his chance, what happened? <laughs> he played, right? The Niners, fast forward, what, what, 20-something years? 30 years, 20 some, 20 some years, to Alex Smith. Alex Smith was never a great quarterback. I always liked him. He always did what he had to do to not lose. Uh, but that's all he did, is he just didn't lose. He was never really going to go out and win you a game. He's not like the gunslinger type. He's Aaron Rodgers, the Brett Favre type quarterback or like you know closer to now like Patrick Mahomes or they're not gonna he he didn't go get you a win Alex Smith didn't go get you a win you could plug in some of these quarterbacks right now and they're just gonna go win you a game uh but then what happened he went out and Cap came in we saw what happened with Cap Cap was doing his thing we went to the NFC one year we went to the Super Bowl the next year. So he was balling. Let's not talk about all of the political things that happened with him and all the, you know, wrong, clearly. Uh, they didn't do him like he should have been done. And from the way it looks, he can still play. But the 49ers, I say all of that to say, we have a history with quarterbacks and a quarterback going down and then Another quarterback coming in for them. Now, Jimmy G, he to me, he's not the answer. He's way more like, like Alex Smith, though. Um, he's serviceable. And he, he'll he lose you more games than Alex Smith would have because he'll try to make a little bit more happen, try to fit it in windows that he shouldn't. But our squad is decent enough to where, you know, we shouldn't be trailing in the nfc and i say that i say that but the the rams are in our division and the rams is i mean they're, they're not as on fire this year but they got a good squad and a great coach uh and that's gonna be hard to overcome in the nfc west but uh we're gonna do what we can so um hopefully moving forward we could win a couple of more games just get a, get back to 500. Step one, get back to 500. Uh, step two is, of course, get to the point where you can lead your division. Don't lose no divisional games, right? Uh, but right now we sit at three and four. Uh, season's not lost. Um, and if we can have a... The de defense is not playing amazing, but not like the past, you know, not in the past maybe seven years ago, you know, we had a top defense in the league for a while, uh, maybe even before that. Um, but we're clearly not that anymore, but, uh, we're, we're serviceable. So let's just go ahead and get back to 500. Uh, I'll check, I'll check back in with y'all. We'll tap back in and, uh, on the next edition of project podcast. The project podcast. Now how I'm gonna continue that because the goal is to every time we have a podcast, have it be linked to whatever project I'm doing that week or that day. But somehow we just have a, a brief tap in 
to uh, circle back some on some of these ideas and points that I hit on this episode, uh, episode one. So uh, I hope you like the little bucket. I hope you like the little uh, video in the background. Um, it's me, me making a bucket. Um, I, I shot that video, and I'm not, I'm not a. I'm not great at video editing and shooting videos and stuff. And I've done some decent ones, but this video was terrible initially. So, um, I used what I could of the video, which was half of the reason that I, I'm doing this, um, uh, overlay talking to y'all, but, um, yeah, it's just some video of me actually doing a bucket hat. You can see, uh, maybe a couple of mistakes I made. Um, I don't really know how long this, this talking is the audio has been at least 20 something minutes. I had cut the video down to like five minutes, but maybe I got to elongate it just to fit half of what I said today. Um, if you guys got any ideas for something that you might want to see made or, um, uh, you know, any feedback for me, I appreciate all feedback. Um, thank you guys for your support. Um, there'll be more videos to come, whether on YouTube or projects on Instagram, uh, one-off bills on all platforms, uh, one O F F B U I L D S one-off builds. Um, uh, so check us out. I appreciate your time.